Hi, we're Rangani Studio. I'm Chloe. I'm Tasha and we're here today to deliver a really exciting paper workshop. So yeah, make sure you've gathered all your materials um, and we'll get started. We're going to start off with the shapes game. So for this, you don't need your glue stick or your tape or anything like that. We just need paper and scissors. Or if you prefer, you can just rip things up. You don't have to use the scissors. So firstly, just cut out as many different shapes as you can. Um, a really good way to double up on your time is to get lots of sheets of paper and just cut one shape out of the stack and then you get like lots of circles in one go. And think about all the different kinds of shapes that you could cut out. So to get started, you're going to respond to a few different words. So we're gonna start off with something really simple. You're gonna to need to draw with your shapes the first letter of your name. So next, can you make a flower? Next up, can you make an insect? Go. Can you make a face? Go. does your face look like? And so to prep you up for the next activity, you're gonna to need to gather some paper. Mine's plain printer paper, but it doesn't have to be plain. You can use scrap paper, you can use sheets of card that you've got absolutely anything. Um, you're gonna need a few sheets of that. And you're gonna need some glue or tape or blue tack, anything sticky. What we're going to do is listen to a little short story. We're going to pause it throughout and it's going to give you some time to respond to what you've listened to and make a little scene. Let's get started. One night, long, long ago, the evening star shone down across the dark sky. Its beams formed a shimmering pathway into a tiny village and painted its humble roofs with stardust. But the silent little town was deep in sleep. The only witness to the beauty of the night was a wary wayfarer whose chances to be passing through. His clothes were grey with stardust, his well-worn shoes pinched at his feet. His back arches from the weight of the carpet bag slung over his shabby shoulder. To be sure, it was only a small carpet bag, but this wayfarer had a very small shoulder. As a matter of fact, he was an exceedingly small wayfarer. His name was Cricket, Jiminy Cricket. He marvelled at the radiant star. It seemed almost close enough to touch, and pretty as a picture. But at this moment, Jiminy Cricket was not interested in pretty pictures. He was looking for a place to rest. <sighs> Suddenly, he noticed a light in the window and smoke curling from the chimney. And with that, he hopped up to the windowsill and peered in. The room had a friendly look. So, Jiminy crawled under the door, scurried over to the hearth, backed up against the glowing fireplace. It was no ordinary village home into which the small wayfarer had stumbled. It was a workshop. Oh. 
Perfect. So that brings us to the end of our workshop. Um, it'd be really nice if you could line up all of your little pieces that you've done in order and you can see the little story unfold in your little collages. So thank you so much for joining us. I uh, hope you had a nice time.